Since my hair is straight, I thought it'd be good to do an update on my colored hair. Um, not really length. My hair has grown a lot, but I don't do limb checks because I'll be horrible and everyone would be telling me that I'm measuring wrong. But if you look at my video and it says my hair journey, it shows kind of the path and my hair has been growing um, pretty recently. So, an update, my hair is doing great. I have gotten no color damage at all. I've been really, really taking care of my hair. My routine hasn't changed much except for I've included protein into my routine. I have not been doing protein treatments as much and because I was busy at school, etc. excuses. And now I'm glad that I put it back into my routine. My hairdresser, I've always had... I would say I've always had bad ends. It's kind of hard to explain. One, I do not trim my ends on my own. Uh, y'all can do a YouTube video if y'all want to and chop off all your hair, but I'm not trimming my ends. And the only way to get my ends trimmed is to get my hair straightened. I only get my hair straightened at the most four times a year, so if you see what I'm saying, I don't get my ends trimmed that often. So that's why sometimes when I go, and it's only normally in the winter um, months where she says, oh, your ends are kind of bad. I mean, they're not horrible. She's like, oh, they're kind of bad. You know, they're usually better. I changed my routine. First, this was kind of making my um, my ends bad, but it makes your curls pop. But this was making my ends bad, so I stopped doing that and only use a wide tooth comb. And then with the protein treatments, I went to get my hair done. Today is Sunday. I got my hair done Monday. And she was like, wow, your ends are a lot better. So I am attributing that to the protein treatments. Um, I don't get heat damage. I don't want to jinx myself, but I've never gotten heat damage. Um, I tried to put heat in my hair. Now, I got my hair done Monday, and I didn't put heat in my hair until Saturday. I worked out Saturday, and you'll see, I'll probably put the video up after this one, of how I keep my hair straight during a workout. And so, of course, after a workout, I still have to apply some heat. And what I do is I rub a little bit of this in my hand, like a little bit goes a long way, a drop of the Icy Fantasia. You've probably seen this a million times in my videos and others. And then also, I forgot totally about this. This is Motions um, Keep the Look Shine Enhanced Pomade, but it's actually, oops, sorry my hair, it's actually a heat protectant and I put a little bit of this on my edges and where I like my part and then I rubbed also a little bit of this and put it in my hair because this kind of gives it that extra, um, I don't want to say hold, but kind of a hold or shine. Like, I have no hold in my hair. My hair is really fluffy. It's not too oily. But this, if I put too much, will make it too oily. And this, if I put too much, you know, it can give it a real hold. So that's why I kind of do a little bit of both and it comes out perfect. But I don't need a lot of heat protectant because the I get my hair straight in a natural hair salon and they use heat protectant conditioner, shampoo, and a heat heat protectant spray. So since I haven't washed my hair, it's obviously all still in my hair. My hair has grown a lot. I'm so happy. It's not to my goal length and it's not to where it used to be. It's so funny because my hair is, I'll put pictures of the first day in. My hair is pretty long. Um, I mean, it would be in the long category, straight in. But when I see, you know, I'm thinking, oh, my hair is getting long. But then I go to my family's house, and I'm like, oh, your hair is so long. But it's not to what it used to be. I'm like, thanks. The longest I've had my hair is to my butt. And as you can see, my hair is armpit length. Well, I don't know if you can see. It's a little bit past armpit length. There's my armpit. <laughs> There's my hair. So it's growing really good. I would show you the back of my hair, but I'll put in pictures. But, um... The way my camera and the way my seating set up, I can't do that. So, I actually want to show you a picture of my hair. I couldn't find one where we're straight into my butt, but I want to show you a picture of my hair when I was little. Okay, so I found this picture. I hope you guys can see it. I'm going to get in kind of close. But I found this picture of me, and I know that I was under five because I was still at my old house. I probably was about four here or just turning Five, but I was like, wow, look at this hair. This is in, I would, I don't know, no, I didn't have a relaxer at this time. My hair is not straightened. Obviously, it was supposed to be in twisted pigtails, but yeah, that didn't work out. And I think it's funny because back in the day, my mom used to do braid outs, what we call now braid outs, all the time. I used to always, I mean, I didn't give it a name. I used to always say, mom, can you braid my hair so I can take it out and wear it wavy? I used to do that all the way up to high school. I did have... I did get a relaxer, yada, 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 obviously, um, when I got older. But this is, and I'm like, all this thick hair, 
like oh my gosh and then you know back in the day they didn't have all the natural stuff that they do now so my mom like always said she wish she would have never gave me a relaxer but you know that was all she knew and all anyone else knew um anyway to keep my hair um straight without um constantly applying heat I do wrap my hair at night now what helps me I will not do a video on how to wrap, wrap your hair because I don't get my hair straightened a lot I act super brand new I used to be able when I had a relaxer to do it with my eyes closed no mirror oh no it's a struggle but I use these clips so you know you wrap if you don't know how to wrap your hair ask somebody um, you know I wrap my hair I do use this is okay to use on straight hair so I use this brush to wrap my hair and I put clips around it this is what helps me if you're a slow uh, <laughs> a rapper then I use a scarf and once I tie my scarf around I pull these out because you don't want I used to leave these in or I used to use bobby pins and leave those in but sometimes you'll get a bend and then you have to straight your hair so straight re straighten your hair excuse me so what I do is like I said put those in put my tie my scarf on pull these out and then I put the bonnet because my um, now when my hair is curly, my um, hair scarf never moves, but when my hair is straight, my scarves uh, move all the time. So that's all I have for my straight hair. I'll put pictures at the end so you can kind of see, um, you know, what my hair is looking like, what it looked like the first day, and get a back shot to see the actual length of my hair. I hope you guys enjoy. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. Be blessed and have a great day. Bye.